Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Andy's house from the movie Toy Story. If you enjoy this one, all I ask is that you please hit that like button. And of course, if you do enjoy it enough to make it, share it with a friend. Sharing is caring. And without any further ado, let's get started. So before we begin, I can tell you that we will require every single material that you can see in my inventory right now. We will even be grabbing additional materials later when we progress through the build and we build Andy's parents' car. Please make sure that you have every single one of these. Pause if necessary and then we can begin. I'm going to be starting with this top row that I've just put in my hotbar. We will also require a 31 block by a 53 block area, 31 blocks wide and 53 blocks long. So please do make sure that you have enough room to build this. This will cover the entire garden as well. And if you do build this grid in your world, I'm going to recommend that you begin on the front right hand corner. So we're both starting in the same place if you have made the grid, which is not necessary. And it goes without saying, pause the video if you need any time whatsoever. So, from the right hand corner of this grid, you want to count inwards by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then count left by 1, and this is where we're starting. Place a light grey concrete. Go left of that concrete by 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Go backwards from that concrete by 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We will have this shape. All we have to do is now extend that 20th block across the back of the build. And we just have to connect it forwards. So quite simply, extend it across, measure up with your eyes where we started, and then connect it to the front of the build. This is going to give us the frame of the house. Just like that. Okay, next thing I want you to do is I want you to come to the front left hand corner of the build, where we placed these 18 blocks earlier. On top of this block, I want you to place 8 white concrete on top of this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight. I want you to go right of that eighth concrete by placing a block of quartz, and then a white concrete, and then a glass, and then a white concrete, and a glass, white concrete, glass, white concrete, and then place three block of quartz, one, two, Three, then a white concrete, glass, white concrete, glass, white concrete, and then I'd like you to place a block of quartz and an additional white concrete. What I also want you to do, and by the way, that's what we want to have so far, what I then want you to do is I want you to, on top of all of these middle blocks, not so much the left side and the right side, I want you to, on top of all of the quartz and all of the white concrete in the middle area and all of the glass in the middle area as well, I want you to extend upwards by one row. You see, this is a long set of windows. So I want you to have something which should look like that. You can see the sides are still one block lower. I want you to take specifically this block of the window, you should be able to find it hopefully, on top of this place three block of quartz, one, two, three, then place a glass, and then place two glass going right, so that'll be one, 
This is tricky too. Take the center glass and place an additional glass on top and an additional glass below. It'll look a little weird now, but it will look good later. I then want you to grab your white concrete and I want you to take the very left side of the build where we have the white concrete blocks and I want you to place three white concrete on top of them. So on top of these, this left side here, I want you to go one, two, and three like that. And I want you to do the same on the right side as well. So on top, three white concrete, one, two, three. And those are just the positioning for the windows. And what I also want you to do is I want you to, and this, this is actually a little bit tricky, so I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll make the roof in a bit of a different way than I was going to previously. So what I want you to do is I also want you to extend down the white concrete that we have on the right side of the build, and I want you to connect it to the bottom right corner of the house. And whilst we are dealing with the bottom right corner of the house, I want you to count inwards to the left from the corner one, two. And this is where we're going to start the porch area. Place four terracotta coming towards you. One, two, three, four. Then a light grey concrete. And then I want you to place the same on top. So terracotta followed by a light grey concrete. And I want you to, on top of this end light grey concrete, place three pillar quartz block coming upwards. One, two, three. Place three quartz slabs going left of the top pillar quartz block. One, two, three, like that. And then this would be tricky to place a pillar quartz block left of that, and then place two coming down. One, two, and then connect that down to the ground using light grey concrete. And that's tricky because the pillar quartz block is now on its side and I'd prefer it to be vertical. I want you to take both of the light grey concretes on the ground and extend them both back connecting to the house. And place joining together at the bottom a row of stone slabs between the light grey concrete. And fill the remaining area of the inside of the porch in using stone slabs. Half a row above like this you see so you're stepping up onto it like that. And I also want to lay the framework for the little mini roof that we have here. So I want you to place quartz slab on the sides of the top of the pillar quartz blocks. Extend the quartz slabs towards you by one row. And then inwards. And then both upwards. And then both inwards both upwards, both inwards, and up, like that. And I would also like to place a cyan concrete just above the top, like in the middle, like the from the outside you want to have that nice little splash of colour there. And we're also going to extend the sides of the little mini roof that we've created backwards to connect back to the house. So these are the very ends, right? The very ends of the roof. We want to connect these backwards where they would connect to the house. And we want to extend the middle blocks of the roof backwards using stone slabs. So instead of using the regular quartz, we're going to be using some stone slabage like this. We are also going to be placing stone slabs on top of the uh, the regular terracotta that we have placed a little bit earlier. And we also want to place a doorway. So the doorway for the house is literally like right in the center of the inside of the porch. So I'm just going to place an iron door there just so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And I'm going to place... On the bottom sides of the door, I'm going to place a block of quartz. And I'm going to need glass for this, specifically glass block. I'm going to place glass block left and right. And also above and across the top of the door. And I'm going to place white concrete on top of that. Like this. And then once you have done that, 
we are going to just move across here and I want to do the windows on the front of the house and uh, on the starting from the very bottom left hand corner like here like on the front of the house like the empty space I want to place going right a row of three block of quartz one two three and then I want you to place a white concrete on top right of that we need the glass pane again for this I want you to place a glass pane and then a white concrete glass pane white concrete glass pane white concrete just like oh hang on just like that very tricky and then I want you to place two rows on top of that. So all of the white, I want you to raise up by two rows. And all of the all of the glass as well, I want you to also raise up by two rows, like that. And then we're going to grab the quartz slab, and we're going to place quartz slabs in front of the top half of the windows, like this. Because he's got some fancy looking windows on the lower part of his house, and that is what that represents right there. Now, once you have done that, I want you to just fade to the left side of the house now, and we're going to add more detail. So, starting from the bottom right-hand corner here, on the left side of the house, basically this block, I want you to place a row of two block of quartz moving back. One, two. On top of that, place a white concrete. Left of that, a glass pane. Then a white concrete. Three block of quartz, one, two, three. Then a white concrete, glass pane, white concrete, glass pane, white concrete, and then a three block of quartz, one, two, three. And then white concrete, glass pane, and then an additional white concrete. And on top of all of those, you can stack three, uh, two additional rows. So on top of all of the white concrete, you can stack that up. The glass pane as well. And honestly, you can even do it to the quartz too. So you can extend up pretty much every single block that you've just placed. Because we're going to have to fill this in later anyway. So there's no real reason that we can't just raise up all of the quartz block at the same time. Just like that. Okay. Next, I want you to take this part of the window on the right side of the build and place four block of quartz on top of it. One, two, three, four. And then place left of the fourth block of quartz a white concrete, and then a glass, then white concrete, five block of quartz, one, two, three, four, five, white concrete, glass, and then white concrete. And I want you to take that entire row and I want you to add another row of whatever materials there are on top of it. So, you know, quartz on top of quartz, glass on top of glass, you guys get the idea. So something like that is what we should have. Now, once you have done that, we now have to work our way to the back part of the house and we have been putting this off a little bit although there's no real reason why i want you to on top of the back corners of the house on both the right side and the left side i want you to place 11 white concrete coming up from the back corners of the house so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven like that and you can do the same on the opposite corner, except this time I'm not going to count it. I'm going to just make sure that it is as high. Just making sure. Yep, as high as the previous row, because I, I was fairly certain that was a row of 11. So, so far we have a, you know, we've got a lot going on here. And from this point onwards, we just want to fill in the back part of the house. So we're going to start from the bottom left hand corner on the back part of the house here. And I want you to take this corner and place two block of quartz going right. So that's one, two. Then a white concrete. Extend the white concrete upwards by two. One, two. Right by two. One, two. 
connect downwards and place a door in between. We also want to connect that door down to the ground by the way by using two rows of stone slabs. Obviously one solid row and then one half row, like just leading down to the ground. If we begin on the bottom right hand corner of the back of the house now, which is here of course, I want you to take this and extend it to the left by three using block of quartz. That'll be one, two, three. And then on top of this, place a white concrete. Left of that, a glass. White concrete, glass. White concrete, glass. White concrete, there we go. Extend that upwards by two rows. So this is gonna be one, and then two, and then I'll, I'll place the glass afterwards because obviously it's, it's just a little bit easier if you've got something to like slap it in between. And then we're going to place a row of quartz slabs in front of the lower half of the top of the windows. Three rows of block of quartz on top of this, so just, you know, left to right on top of this, one row, two, then that would be three, like that. And then we actually kind of want to copy the windows down below. On the left side here, we're going to place a white concrete, glass, white concrete, glass, white concrete, glass, white concrete. And then we're going to add another row on top. So glass on top of glass, concrete on top of concrete. You guys get the idea. And now that is all of the detail, really, on the back of the house complete. We've actually done quite a lot of the house. It might not look like it because of how we've made it, but we've done a huge portion of the house. Let's come back to the front because I, I like doing the front before the back for some reason. Okay, I want you to come all the way up to the very top left hand corner of the house, which is of course this white concrete block that we have right here. And I want you to place a quartz slab left of this white concrete block. And I want you to extend the slab one row towards you and then one row to the right. And I want you to take the slabs and I want you to go up and right. And this will end, by the way. This will seem like it will take forever. And then up, right, 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 up. Now, that is what I want you to have made. And what is the significance of that, you might be thinking. Well, that is the center of the house. The reason that you can tell this is because this sticky up middle glass, that is the center of the house and that is where the top of the roof is, if you take a look. Now, we want to begin on the right side of the house this time. We want to take the very top at the right side of the house, okay? And we want to place a block of, uh, a quartz slab rather, to the right of this and then extend the quartz slab towards you. And then left, up, left, up. So on and so forth. And eventually, if you keep repeating left and up, you will join to the opposite side of the roof. So it will eventually left and you'll have a final up. Eventually, you will have made that, all right? And then I want you to take the very edges of the roof, so the last blocks, and I want you to extend the edges of the roof backwards, okay? Do, 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 do. I want them to overhang the back of the roof, and I want you to do that on both sides, so like the edges of the roof, I do mean like the left side, the right side. Extend them back until they overhang the back of the house by bloop, by one row like this. And then we want to copy what we have on the front, that's very, very important. So you can actually do this by eye, and that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna extend the blocks inwards and upwards, okay? Until I can visually see that I have the same thing as I do on the front of the house. And we are just finding the middle of the roof. I'm actually quite close, right? As I look at there, and then there, and there. And once you think you found the middle of the roof, just by extending upwards like that, you, you can even count how many blocks are there if, uh, if it, it's a little bit difficult for you. But once you think you found the middle, if you start from the opposite side now, and you know, just build 
uh, inwards and upwards, just, you know, keep repeating, repeating, repeating. It'll take forever, but, you know, inwards, upwards, inwards, upwards. You, go, you guys get the idea. Well, you keep doing that, and eventually, if you're right, it will connect to the center. And it'll be obvious if you've done it wrong. It'll be very, very obvious. So, we've done that now. What do I want to do next? Well, the next thing is I want to use stone slams. And I want to connect the front of the roof to the back of the roof. And all you have to do is just take the edges of the roof, so the upper blocks, and we're going to use stone slimes, and we can, um, we're going to connect the front of the roof to the back of the roof. It, it's as simple as that. It really is. You don't have to say, like, where, where you have, like, you know, the, the, a solid quartz block. Only extend the top bit. You don't have to extend the bottom. It shouldn't get in the way, and if it does, we'll fix it later. But this is what I'm going to do. I am going to keep repeating this until I eventually hit the opposite side, like I'll, I'll hit the top, and then I'll come back down. And I'm just going to use stone slabs for this, and I am going to be quiet, and I'm going to let that music turn itself up very, very soon. And there we go. That is the roof filled in completely using stone slabs. Once you have done that, we can now fill in the sides of the house using block of quartz. And it might be easier to do it from the inside. So, this is important. You want to take the front of the house, the back of the house, the left side of the house, the right side of the house, and you want to fill them in using quartz blocks. It is as simple as that. You do not want to have any gaps in them. The only parts that you might have a little bit of trouble with, where it is a little bit trickier, is at the tops, on the front and the back specifically. Because you know how we've just like added the roof? So like, on the back here? Like, it, 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 you might find that if you don't place the blocks correctly, then you're going to have some gaps. Which is why I fully recommend placing them from the inside out. Which is another Disney movie. But, <laughs> just thinking about Toy Story. Uh, you want to simply just make sure that there's no gaps. I mean, whether you want to do it from the inside or the outside, it's completely up to you. I'm going to do both hard sides first. I've, I've just done the back and now I'm going to come to the front. And uh, the front also, this is a cool part with the front. Now that we've done this... We will also have, like, filled in around the porch as well. And if you want to add any lights to the inside of the porch, you might want to do that. Because it will look a little bit dark otherwise. And we'll probably do that a little bit later on as we progress with the outside of the house. Because we're not quite done, ladies and gentlemen. We're not quite done. Like, this is a large portion of the house complete. However, we are going to be adding some minor details. Like, there's a drain pipe. There's an aerial that we'll be adding. There is a large garage that we will also be adding to the property as well including a garden some fence and a lot of stuff really i guess i guess that the house isn't where this finishes which is partly why i do really like this house so much is because it's not just the actual house itself you know i have done the garden and stuff too and uh, that really does add to the overall feel of the house rather than just like dumping the house just like in the middle of like a minecraft world we really have made it quite uh, quite a lot like 
actual Toy Story. Now, I don't know why that's not placing. There we go, that should be fine. I don't think we have any gaps. That's going to be an important thing to check. Don't even know how that block got there. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's how the front of the house looks like so far. And now we're going to fill in the sides. And once again, I'm just going to fill in the sides. And I think I'm going to be a little bit quiet and let that music fade in. Just so that my annoying nasally voice, a little bit congested today, doesn't annoy you. So, let's fill in the sides and then we can talk about the rest of it. And that should be quite perfect. We have filled in all four of the sides of Andy's house, and that's looking pretty good. But there are a couple of more minor details. For instance, I'm going to grab uh, some cobblestone wall, some iron bars, buttons to open the front door, and the back door as well. And I might also grab perhaps a sea lantern to light some stuff up. So, on the left side of Andy's house, we have a drain pipe. On the front left-hand corner of the side of Andy's house, I'm going to place a row of cobblestone wall that comes all the way from the top to the bottom, just like that, and that is going to act as a drain pipe, and it's just going to flare out down there at the bottom, just like this. And if you like, you can even extend perhaps uh, the quartz slab at the top, you could even extend it downwards a little bit if you wanted it to join, it's not 100% necessary though. So, once you have done that, we are also going to, I don't, I don't like the fact that it's just that. Uh, I'm also, I might even make a hole in the roof actually, and just place that coming up. Yeah, that looks kind of okay. Uh, I'm also going to place an antenna as well. So, I'm going to use iron bars here, and there is going to be an aerial, an antenna, that is actually located just one row away from the drain pipe at the top. So, I'm going to leave a gap. And on top of the quartz slab here on the left side, I'm going to place five iron bars coming upwards. So that's one, two, three, four, oh, four, and five. And I want you to take this fourth iron bar, the one away from the top, and I want you to extend it left by two, one, two, and right by two as well. So that's going to be one, two. And we're going to extend the first blocks in the row of two towards us. And the back blocks in the row of two backwards as well. So that creates a pretty cool looking aerial. Now, once you have done that, I'm also going to recommend that you add some buttons to the front door. Just so that you can open them. You can either put them at the bottom or perhaps delete some glass and you can build some up around. And I'm also just going to, just for the sake of lighting it up, I'm just placing a sea lantern in the top of the porch, just in the middle, um, just to, you know, light up that little back porch area a little bit better. And on the back part of the house as well, I'm also going to add buttons just to open up and close the door. Obviously, opening up from the, the door from the inside will require buttons on the inside, but you guys get the idea. So, that's a lot of the house complete as we're looking at it now. So the next thing I actually want to do is I want to make the garage on the back of the house, which is going to require some uh, block of quartz. It will need some white concrete. 
it will need some quartz stairs and it will also need a little bit of quartz slab as well. And to get there we need oak planks and spruce doors and I'll show you what I mean by get there in a second. Okay, so I want you to come to the very back left hand corner of the house which is of course these, these blocks right here. And I want you to take the back left hand corner of the house and place a, an oak plank coming back from it. Two spruce doors back from that, one, two. And then two oak planks, one, two. And extend the oak plank outwards out of the side of the house like this. Place oak planks on top of all of those oak planks like this. And then left of this flaring out part of the oak planks is where we're actually going to start the garage. So I want you to place a white concrete on the ground next to the oak planks. And I want you to go upwards by three using white concrete. One, two, three. And then place four block of quartz coming upwards left diagonally. Like one, two, three, four. And then place three block of quartz coming down diagonally. One, two, three. And then place a white concrete coming bottom left diagonally. And connect that concrete down to the ground. Like this. And I want you to use a block of quartz. And I want you to place quartz inwards from the white concrete rows like this. And I want you to connect those rows together at the top, like that, to kind of create a capital A. <laughs> Andy. And then I want you to fill the middle of this in using the block of quartz itself. And then the garage door is made out of quartz stairs. And I'm just going to place some quartz stairs inside of the empty space at the base of the garage door, like that. And I'm even going to place some white concrete left right and above the garage door like this so you see from the outside we have that which looks pretty good i really like how that looks and then all we're going to do is we're going to coming out of these sides of the back of the garage where we have the rows of four block of quartz i want you to place a row of seven quartz block coming back from this so like one two three four five six seven and we're just going to have those seven rows moving backwards from the left side and the right side white concrete blocks. So we're going to have these coming backwards from these rows of white concrete blocks like this. Here. Here. And then we're going to place white concrete coming back from the block of quartz like so. And we're going to join those two rows together. We're going to place block of quartz in between those two rows of white concrete, just like that. And then we kind of want to create a pyramid shape. So kind of what we have on the front, we want to use a block of quartz to slowly create a triangular shape on the top middle part of the garage that just gets smaller and smaller and smaller each tier, just like that. We're then going to use quartz stairs on the side of the garage like this. And we're just going to place rows of quartz stairs starting from the very side of the garage coming all the way up to the top. And we're just going to keep placing rows of continuous quartz stairs until we eventually get to the top of the garage. And on top of the garage I'm going to place a row of quartz slabs that just comes from the back middle to the, uh, to the front middle. And we just then want to come down the opposite side of the garage using the quartz stairs like this. And when we eventually do hit the side, and we will hit the side of the garage eventually right here. I want you to extend the quartz stairs backwards one row off of the back of the garage, including the slab at the top by the way. And I want you to place quartz stairs coming all the way out of those rows. So I want it to overhang the back of the garage by one row. And I want you to place upside down quartz stairs underneath all of the overhanging quartz stairs, just like that. And on the front, we're going to do the same thing. So it wants to just overhang by one row, nice and easy, overhang the front, overhang the back, just by one row. And it's just going to then, it's going to look a little bit nicer, and we will be placing the upside down quartz stairs underneath the overhanging parts, just 
as I'm doing now, just like that. So we will have something which should look like this. And that is, of course, Andy's garage. Now, we've done a large portion of the house now, but we're not quite done. So next, I want to create a garden fence, which sounds like a weird thing to want to have. But if you have created the grid in your world, I want you to come to the front right hand corner of the grid. And if you have not created this grid in your world, I'm very sorry, but you're going to have to kind of like figure this out just by yourself, just by looking at it. You, the, the, the length of the garden and stuff is variable, so you can change it accordingly as you like, make it as big or as small as you like. But if you have created the grid, I want you to, on the front right corner of the grid, place an oak wood plank, just to give you kind of like a view of how far away that is. I want you to extend the oak wood plank backwards. And we're going to extend it backwards, right? All the way back to the back corner of the grid. So we're basically just following the green line on top of it. And then we're gonna extend it across the back of the grid as well, like this, until we are on the back corner as well, the opposite back corner of the grid. And then we're going to extend the fence forwards, the oakwood planks. And the oakwood planks are going to come about as far, really. Probably about as far, maybe one or maybe two rows in front of the house where the drain pipe is. So just to give you some perspective, just like that. And I'm going to place another row of oak planks on top of this. Um, the reason that I'm doing this is because there's a large amount of hedge around the house, you see? So I just want the I, I want the fence to be larger than the hedge, and we're going to be planting the hedge very very soon. Hence why I want a double tall fence. You guys get the idea, I'm sure. So once we've done this, we are going to be placing some hedges and stuff. We're going to be laying out some paths, and we're also going to be making some artificial grass and even a little bit of uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of garden care at the back. So that's what we want to have so far. And I'm going to grab the jungle leaves now. And I'm going to place jungle leaves inside of the fence to the right of the front door. So I'm just going to place a row of jungle leaves just inside the fence, right of the front door, just like that. I'm also going to place some bushes in front of the windows at the front of the house. So I'm, I'm just going to place some like corner bushes like this. I want you to build up bushes that look similar to this, but they can be a bit messier. Kind of, kind of like that, right? Just on the front of the house on the right side, and on the left side, kind of just starting from here, I'm just going to build up two rows of jungle leaves on top of each other. I'm going to extend out the middle towards us and upwards, just like this. Nice and easy. And I'm, I'm also going to just apply a bit of bone meal, right, just around the bushes. And I'm going to clear this up a little bit later, and I'm, I'm going to keep what I like and get rid of what I don't. I'm just going to bone meal around the bushes a little bit. And I'm also going to place a row of jungle leaves, starting from behind the drain pipe, leading all the way to the back fence of the house like that. And I'm also going to place a row of jungle leaves that leads from the garage, coming towards the front fence, and it's just going to be, I'm going to leave it one block away, just like this, so you can see we're adding a nice bit of detail just like that. Uh, on the back garden, I'm going to need an oak sapling, like, now, the back garden is very, very messy, so I'm, I'm just going to bone meal, bone meal the heck out of the back garden. And there is a large tree. There is a very large tree in the back of Andy's garden. So I am going to somewhere towards this back middle part. I'm going to plant an oak sapling and hope that it's quite big. That couldn't have gotten too much smaller. But you guys get the idea. You can wait for a nice big tree if you like. But, you know, or make make your own tree. But, you know, a, a tree in the back garden is absolutely there. Whether, you know, you want a huge one or a small one. It's quite a big tree. That that I wish that was a bit bigger. But, you know, you get what you get, I guess, with the bone meal lot tree. So, once you've done that, that's the back garden complete. You know, we're, we're actually, we're cracking on nicely. But there's a few things that we're missing. It's very, very important stuff. So, I'm going to grab the white, light grey concrete. The lime terracotta and the grey concrete. This is what we're going to be focusing on for an, a good while now. Okay. 
I want to take the middle blocks of the garage, where we have the quartz stairs like this, and I want to have a driveway that extends from the middle blocks of the garage where we have the quartz stairs and the driveway is actually going to come out as far as the boundary for the house meaning the driveway yeah that's right meaning the driveway is as long as it takes to get from the garage door all the way to where the street is going to be so you can kind of see that we've laid that out just just nicely like that and this this part of the house um this um the, the driveway is going to be made out of gray concrete so it's going to be made out of gray concrete just as you can see me doing now like this and that's that's all you need to know about the drive you can see how long it is you can see how big it is um whether you've made your garden a bit longer is up to you but you can see how far it has to come now there's also a path that leads from the front of the house where we have the stone slabs here there's a path that is made out of light gray concrete that leads from the front steps of the porch to the boundaries of the house so once again like you can kind of see where the street is going to be it leads from there to the street and we're going to place a row of uh, grey concrete, light grey concrete, that is three rows thick, just like the path itself, that connects from the drive to the main path of the house. So you can walk from the main path to your car, which is the basic gist of this, or you can walk from your car like to the front of your house without having to loop around or step on the grass. That's that's basically. So you can kind of see what we've got going on here, right? So you can see the paths that we've got to create. But all in between that, we have some lime terracotta to place. So around the bushes is where I'm going to give you an example. I, I want to kind of like prune around the bushes so that we still have some like grassy area around them like this kind of like just working around the bushes a little bit i can't i kind of want some like actual minecraft nature in the front garden like that but I, I i want to have fake grass everywhere because it looks better in my opinion especially for like cartoon builds and stuff i'm going to take basically everything that isn't inside of those two uh, lime terracotta areas, those two areas where the bushes are, I'm going to take the remaining grass, destroy it, fill it in with lime terracotta. So the three jobs that I have to do right now, I have to do the drive, I have to do the path, and I have to take all of the grass and turn it into lime terracotta. I will be doing all of those things off of recording, and I'll come back and I'll do them. You'll probably have to do a bit of pausing in this next part, but I'd, I'll be back in a second. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been done. The driveway has been filled in using gray concrete. The path to the right of the house has been filled in using light gray concrete. And the remaining grass area has been turned into lime terracotta. Now, I do imagine that you will be working on that, probably right now. So, pause the video if necessary, because there is one last part of this house to do. Pause the video if necessary, and once you have finished all of that, we can do this one last bit. So, what is the last bit you're wondering to yourself? Well, there is a car in the driveway that we're going to be making and it requires all of these materials right here i'm going to be starting off with the ones that i've just chucked into my hotbar and we'll be finishing off with the ones that you can see in the remaining inventory please pause the video if necessary once again there's a lot of pausing make sure that you've got every single one of these and then we can start this off so the car in the drive can literally be made anywhere in the drive I, i'm going to make mine a little bit closer to the front of the drive but i don't want it right on the end uh, you're going to start off by placing a black concrete on the ground. And by the way, the car is not as wide as the drive itself. So, you know, you're also going to have to make another decision there. I'm going to place a black concrete on the ground and a quartz slab in front of it, the top half. I'm going to extend the quartz slab to the right by three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to place a black concrete behind that last quartz slab. And I'm going to place two quartz slab back from that one two and then a black concrete and then a quartz slab and we're going to go right by three one two three 
and then we're going to extend forwards using a black concrete and then we're going to join the wheels together using quartz slabs. We're going to fill in the base of the car using quartz slabs also. We're going to fill in the base of the car using light blue concrete like this. You can fill the middle part in or you can choose not to. Um, it's, it's completely up to you. We're then going to take this block right here on the left and we're going to place two light blue on top of it. One, two. We're going to extend that light blue right one, back by two, one, two, and then down like this. We're going to extend the top of this across the car by three rows. One, two, three. And we're going to extend this block down to the car and this block down to the car. We're going to fill the sides of the areas in it using glass pane, including the back window too. So the back window and the two sides in with glass pane. And we're also going to fill the, fill the front in with glass pane. However, it looks a little bit different because it's a window shield, like it wraps around almost. We're going to place two ladders on the front center of the car. And we're going to place item frames on all corners of the car. Surrounding the car on each one of the four corners, you want to place two item frames per corner, like this. We're going to place a sign or two signs at the base of the car in the center of the two quartz slabs on both the back and the front to create number plates or you might even call them license plates depending where you're from. We're going to place buttons coming outwards from each one of the four wheels like this. We're also going to place trip wire hooks between the windows or below the windows I should say on the back on the sides of the car like so. And then all we're going to do, we're going to dump that, we're going to grab white concrete, orange concrete, red concrete. We're going to place white concrete in the front item frames on the front of the car. Orange concrete in the side item frames, both on the front of the car and the back of the car as well, both on the sides. And then on the back, I'm going to fill in the back item frames using red concrete. We have indicators or, yeah, I, well, I, I don't know what, uh, what other names it might have, but indicators, you know, show where you're going left or right. We have brake lights on the back and we have headlights on the front. And in doing all of that, you will have made, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, very proud of you because that, that's, that's been quite a long build, but definitely one worth doing if you love Disney, if you like Toy Story. That, ladies and gentlemen, is ha Andy's house 100% fully completed. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I really like how this has turned out. Definitely one of my favorite childhood movies. Absolutely awesome. Always love Toy Story. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to hit that like button as it does really help me and the channel out immensely. And if you have made it this far, please share it with a friend. They might like to make it too. Toy Story is such an awesome movie or set of movies, I should say, that I'm, I'm sure that your friends would love to make this as well. If you would like to uh, keep up to date with the channel, I would suggest subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That ensures that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. Now, a lot of this stuff that you'll see around me on uh, in my world right now, you won't be able to find on this channel. But I will link you to a couple of builds that I think that you'll enjoy both in the card system and the description below. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate you so, so, so much. I really honestly do. Thank you so much for supporting this channel as much as you guys have had. We just hit 10k subscribers. I'm so excited about that. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.